signal's definitely human. I'm getting a call the from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Someone else Let's see what that made is. It roll over. Time Hello? to save the day, huh? Let's go. Uh, sure. I was just making mustard salad. Well, that sounds good. Um, okay, first I would like to ask a few questions about your views. Uh, I'm sorry, I'd like to ask a few questions to make sure you fit within the parameters of our study. Uh, are you 18 years of age or older? I am 46. I see, thank you. And, um... And for quality control and research purposes, this call is recorded. Since the phone number I dialed is produced by a computer, I would like to know if the phone number is for a personal cell phone or a business-only cell phone. It is personal. It's for me. I make my, my normal calls. I have, like, people who work for me. I send out carrier pigeons. Ah, I see. Since we are trying to reach households in the contiguous United States, can you please tell me which of the following describes your living situation? Do you live in a house or apartment, a dormitory or nursing home, or some other type of residence within the contiguous U.S.? Uh, I live off the grid. I have a satellite phone. Okay, but um, do you live in a house? Do you live in an apartment? I call it my house. Oh, well, but is it an actual house? Some would say no, but I would disagree. Okay, well, what is it then? Do you mean like the structure? The land? Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that it's a permanent structure. Um, permanent as in there's a foundation? Well, yeah, that that's Earth. We're all permanently stuck to the ground. Okay, so you're not living in a car, you're not... Do you mean like an RV? No, I do not live in an RV. I live in something better. Okay. This is a structure that's attached to the ground. Not necessarily. You, you can move it for a, a fee. But it is permanently in one location? Uh, or is it permanently in one location? Not, not for like a week. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that you have a... Do you have an address for this location? Where you receive mail? Mm, I don't do mail, I do everything online. to determine whether or not um, your living situation uh, fits within the parameters of our study. Um, just because it's off-grid doesn't mean it couldn't, you know, there's a difference between a home and a house. A house is a structure, a home is where you live. Well, I, think, I think that's debatable. Both can be whatever you want it to be, as long as you have memories, pictures, you have your gimp suit up there, just anything that makes you feel safe and secure when you come home from work. I think those are debatable. That's a home, but a house is actually a building. So any building is a house. So you're telling me Walgreens can be a house because it's a building? I'm just using your logic. I'm just using your logic. You said because it's a building. I said a house is a building. I didn't say a, that all buildings were houses. But all buildings could be houses. Let's get back to what, where you live. I live on Earth. Do you mean like my well, state? I'm going, to have to, I'm going to have to discuss this with our study staff to see, um, since you're not willing to narrow this down for me. You asked where I lived. I said Earth. If you would like a specific location, all you have to do is ask. No, I'm just asking if you have a permanent residence. Right now, yes. 
Thank you. And would you call that uh, and it's yours. It's you're not living on someone's couch. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not at all. Okay. Uh, and it is in a contiguous United States. Um I would like to think of where I live as my own branch of country. But for legal reasons, you you could say North America. You could say the U.S. for for legal reasons. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, and because you're on a cell phone, we want to be sure you're in a safe place. Are you in a position at the current time to answer these survey questions? Sure. Thank you. Uh, including yourself. How many family members, age 18 or older, currently live in your household? Uh, excuse me, you said how many people live in the household? Including yourself, how many family members, aged 18 or older, currently live in your household? Uh, 18 and older, that would be, including myself, 11. Uh, 18 and under would be about 22. Okay, so this is sort of a commune? Kind of, yeah, a little bit. Does it matter that we're not related? We're we're spiritually spiritually related, not blood related. Um, like we made a blood pact and everything. We we made sure that it was signed, sealed, delivered. We're good. Uh -huh. And we've known each other for about f 14, 15 years. I see. I see. Well, you know, we you have a unique situation, and I'm going to need to discuss this with my supervisors to see if we can include you in the study. Uh, if you, um, if we're in, if we're able to do that, um, I'm going to. I don't want to hold you on the phone. It's it could take quite a while. Nope, I have an, an infinite amount of time. We we could talk all day. Okay. Like, we could talk about our turn-ons, our turn-offs, our dislikes, our dislikes. We could talk about our pathological energies for different stones that we would acquire. Have you ever done a crystal butt plug? No. I highly recommend it. It, it alleviates any tension that is in the spine, but it also fills you with a bunch of positive energy and just completely washes out any, any negative emotions that you would have. And what crystal would you use for that? Um, I would personally say, as long as it's not just a gemstone, it's an actual crystal, I think that's up to your choice. Maybe you go with one that's your favorite. Maybe you go with one that's your, uh, your birthstone. Maybe one that's your, just your favorite color. Maybe you just like the shape of it. If uh, if we can work with you, if you if we will give you a call back, okay? Okay. Can I ask one more question? It's like just yes. just a quick question. Okay. Uh, what are you doing Sunday? Because we're gonna have like a little get together. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of hang out under the stars, play some music, and then at midnight on the dot, we're going to go ahead and rub the the mustard salad that I told you I was making earlier. We're gonna rub it on ourselves and go ahead and let that exfoliate our body. So I was wondering if you'd be down for that. Well, as interesting as it sounds, I think I'm on the opposite side of the country, so. Damn. Probably not. <laughs> but thank you for the offer. All right, cool. I hope you have a great day, and I hope the, the Mother Goddess blesses you. Thank you. You too. All right, bye.
what crystal do I recommend?